Okay, here we are back in Monster Hunter Rise, and from here on out I mentioned we were going to start doing the monsters just one at a time. So, I think I'm going to go over the Kizu next. So this is going to take us back to the Frost Islands, which isn't really that bad. I don't think Kizu is enough to justify a meal either. Although it's supposed to be a high-pitched scream, so keep in mind normal earplugs will not suffice here. It's supposed to be high-grade or nothing. Because I know a lot of people are going to be saying, Hey, I have earplugs. Why does the roar st still bother me? And that's why. He sucks. Blank stare kiss. So I don't know who appears with it. But in case you're wondering what it looks like, I believe it's like Giganox where it doesn't have true eyes. And what I mean by that is it's like a snake. It's supposed to see heat. So in older Monster Hunter games, you could carry uh, torches or... There were tricks you could use to basically blind it. You'd light torches in the cave with it, and it can't quite see you as well. It may... It has to stop and stare, that type of thing. But I wanted to make sure I got that Thunderbug for traps. Still too early in the game to justify a trap, in my opinion, even though, yeah, we're at three-star quests already. Oh, I meant to get a picture of that. And to my knowledge, there's no Macalite out here, which I still need. I'm going to be upset if he's actually back in two. He very well could be because... Seeing Heat makes him a very, very ideal cave dweller. It's just in the promotional material for the game, I thought he was out here. Wait a second. I know the gunpowder can be used for barrel bombs, but I don't know what all else. <sighs> Tetronodon. So, what I can do is actually warp back to camp. Not in combat. So if you see my gun icon in the top left corner, that's what actually determines whether or not we're in combat. Wink, wink. Wait a second, was that the... No, it's just a rock. Yes. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a high pitch screech. Okay, that's an effect. So I'm Thunderblight, I'm more likely to be paralyzed right now, like that. That one may have missed. Yeah, I did. Oh, crud. Uh... I really didn't think he'd be ready to ride just yet. By the way, his neck stretches, I forgot to mention that one. Just like Kiki's. We broke his face. You can see it's scarred now. Now, if you can get through his wings, you can actually still do a number on him from the sides with your pierce. So yeah, the bad part about landing on his head like that is that it stretches. <laughs> and he can fly, but I kind of figured that would be assumed. Most things can, or at least they can do some sort of short-range hop or glide or something. Yes. Uh, real quick... Oh, gunpowder turns into sticky ammo. Good to know. Could be a turf war going on here. There's a Tetronodon around here. paralyzed at the moment, I think. So he could kill me if he attacks. Oh my god! For some reason I just wouldn't get up. And I'm paralyzed again. 
Am I seriously, like, paralysis weak or something? Because this makes no sense that it's that effective. I believe he's a returning monster from Monster Hunter 1, I should probably add in. Okay, so that does heal you. He went this way. Okay, this time I'm only blighted, so I'm more likely to be stunned. Or paralyzed, I mean. I have to admit, Kizu is definitely being a lot more difficult than I had imagined him to be. I think that... No, that did connect. Wish I would have reloaded there. Skip the animation. I thought I could knock him out of the animation. <laughs> I do need a better bow gun by now. I'm still using the freaking Izuchi one. So in case you're wondering, yes, this is the gun from the demo I'm still using. Dang it. Before. Yes. So yeah. Did I? One. 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 One.
Looks like we get to it through ten. I'm actually gonna go this way. You've made me angry, Kizu. Okay, I could get through through eleven then. Cancel that. Okay. Yes. The deodorant is to remove uh debuff that prevents you from healing, in case you're not familiar with it. Close. So, he's an electric element, if you couldn't tell from all the lightning he was shooting at us repeatedly. I don't actually know what his armor would normally give. Get an Electro Sack. Pale Extract, that's another thing. I think you can use that to make Mega Dash Juice or something like that. That's infinite stamina. <laughs> Got his fangs for breaking his head. I really don't know if there's anything else you can break on him. Sorry that you can see we lose 700 Zenny because of the knockout. Took 15 minutes with me. Still screwing around for part of that. So we'll take a quick look at his armor and then I will put a break in the video. Hopefully next time it'll go a little bit smoother and a little bit more quickly. Somebody wants to talk to us, too bad. Okay, recovery up, wall runner, thunder attack, slugger. Oh. Okay, so if you want to do the heavy bow gun thing, this may be what you want. Oh, yeah. Faster fill rate and charge time. Well, the important thing is I got what I needed to make this in the event I actually do go back to the heavy bow gun. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.